This is breaking news. A jury has ruled in favor of singer Ed Sheeran in a copyright infringement trial over his hit song, Thinking Out Loud. Now, the family of songwriter Ed Townsend claimed that Sheeran stole key components of the Marvin Gaye song, Let's Get It On. During the trial, Sheeran had called the allegations against him insulting and maintained the song was his original creation. Let's go live now to Lisa Rosner, who was in the courtroom for the verdict. Lisa, what was the reaction to the jury's decision? Hi, Cindy. So as soon as the jury read that verdict, Ed Sheeran stood up and hugged both of his attorneys on both sides of him emphatically. Uh, and then things calmed down, but uh, it was very clear there was people crying um, in some of the rows behind him that were his supporters. So obviously a huge relief for Sheeran and his supporters. Uh, now in the jury, it was three men and four women uh, and they had actually started deliberating yesterday at the end of the day, just for about five to 10 minutes, came back again this morning around 10 a.m. And uh, it was about three hours before they came with a verdict. Uh, the verdict comes again in less than three hours. Deliberations began late in the day. And uh, the copyright infringement trial, as you said, alleged that pop superstar Ed Sheeran wrote the hit song Thinking Out Loud by copying a classic from decades before Let's Get It On. The plaintiffs are heirs of Ed Townsend, who co-wrote Let's Get It On with Marvin Gaye. The two songs in question followed a four-chord progression that is common in popular music. Sheeran had denied it, saying his song was an original creation with the co-writer. Hear more about what Sheeran said outside of court moments ago. Uh, right. Uh, good morning, afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for uh, being out here. I'm obviously very happy with the outcome of the case, and it looks like I'm not having to retire from my day job after all. But at the same time, I'm unbelievably frustrated that baseless claims like this are allowed to go to court at all. We've spent the last eight years talking about two songs with dramatically different lyrics, melodies, and four chords, which are also different and used by songwriters every day all over the world. These chords are common building blocks, which were used to create music long before Let's Get It On was written, and will be used to make music long after we are all gone. They are in a songwriter's alphabet, our toolkit, and should be there for all of us to use. No one owns them, or the, the, or the way they are played, in the same way that nobody owns the color blue. Unfortunately, unfounded claims like this are being fueled by individuals who are offered as music experts in musical analysis. In this instant, the other side's musicologists left out words and notes, presented simple and different pitches as melody, and by doing so, created what I think we proved for all to see were misleading comparisons and disinformation to find supposed similarities where none exist. And I think we proved for all to see that they tried to manip manipulate my, my and Amy's song to try and convince the jury that they had a genuine claim. I'm very grateful that the jury saw through the, those attempts. This may seem, this seems so dangerous to me, both potential claimants who may be convinced to bring a bogus claim, as well as those songwriters facing them. It's simply wrong. By stopping this practice, we can also properly support genuine music copyright claims so legitimate claims are rightly heard and resolved. If the jury had decided this matter the other way, we might as well say goodbye to the creative freedom of songwriters. We need to be able to write our original music and engage in independent creation without worrying at every step of the way that such creativity will be, will be wrongly called into question. Like artists everywhere, Amy and I work hard to independently create songs which are often based around real life personal experience. It's devastating to be accused of stealing someone else's song when we've put so much work into our livelihoods. I'm just a guy with a guitar who loves writing music for people to enjoy. I am not and will never allow myself to be a piggy bank for anyone to shake. Having to be in New York for this trial has meant that I've missed being with my family at my grandmother's funeral in Ireland, and I will never get that time back. These trials take a significant toll on everyone involved, including Catherine. I want to thank the jury for making the decision that will help protect the creative process of songwriters here in the United States and all around the world. I also want to thank my team, these guys who've supported me throughout this difficult process and to all the songwriters, musicians and fans who've reached out with messages of support over the last few weeks. And finally, I would like to thank Amy. Neither of us ever expected that nine years ago from our wonderful writing session that we will be here having to defend our integrity. integrity. Amy, I feel so lucky to have you in my life. Thank you. We need songwriters and the wider community to come together and bring back common sense. 
these claims need to be stopped so the creative process can carry on and we can all go back to making music. And at the same time, we absolutely need trusted individual, in, individuals, real experts, who help support the process of protecting copyright. Thank you. And again, the jury here found that uh, Ed Sheeran did not copy key elements of the song Let's Get It On. Uh, we did try to speak with some family members of the plaintiffs, but uh, they declined to speak with us. I'm sure we will hear more from the plaintiffs later. As you heard, Sheeran missed his grandmother's funeral in Europe for this trial. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Back to you, Cindy. And uh, Lisa, it was interesting that he talked about not having to retire from his day job because he had said what he was going to do if he lost this case. Yeah, it, you could really feel the sense of relief in the courtroom, outside the courtroom. Um, even though, you know, everyone was civil in the courtroom after the verdict was read, you could just feel uh, that sense of relief and uh, the look on Sheeran and his supporters' faces as they walked out. Uh, this is a huge weight off their shoulders. And uh, as you heard him say, uh, he looks forward to playing music again. All right, Lisa, thank Continuing. you so much. Thank you very much. Lisa Rosner live outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Again, a jury has decided that singer Ed Sheeran did not steal key components of Marvin Gaye's classic 1970s tune, Let's Get It On, in his copyright infringement trial. Stay with us for complete coverage throughout the day. I'm Cindy Shu, CBS News, New York. This has been breaking news.